Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. And I know what you guys are thinking, this is not my typical normal bicycle review that I do. But as a YouTuber, I get a lot of people who will reach out to me, who will either DM me, email me. And this company, Tutio, sent me out an email for this bicycle and I was blown away, one, by the price of it because all we do is talk about on this channel, price points of bikes, overpriced this thing. This thing right here is literally I think one of the best values I've ever seen, and it makes no sense to me how any other road bike or carbon fiber bike can be more expensive than this thing. This bicycle right here is a mini electronic dirt bike, and I'm sure you guys have seen other products out there as well. This is pretty much what's like really hot right now for the kids. This is a 2000 watt motor, like a pit bike, dirt bike style E dirt bike that retails for $1,300, but right now on sale for Black Friday, I believe it's $1,189. I have no idea how they got all this stuff on there for that price point. A normal carbon fiber road bike is $3,800 with mechanical gears. This thing has hydraulic disc brakes, a nitrogen filled rear shock, a front suspension front fork, 2000 watt mid drive motor. Uh, it is a blast to ride. It goes 37 miles an hour. It is a really, really badass bike and uh, I can't wait to tell you guys all about it. So uh, Tutti, like I said, they reached out to me. I was like, sure, let me go ahead and reach out and see if this thing's really gonna perform how it is. And I was blown away by just how much you get for the money. Uh, coming from an industry where almost everyone talks about everything being overpriced nowadays, this is exactly what you get for what you pay for and it's been held up. I have about 184, 189 kilometers on here. 184 kilometers on here. Uh, so a good amount, I mean, almost over, 60, 80, almost like 80 miles on this thing. We've been ripping it around, trying it out, uh, and it's been an absolute blast. The range on here, it can range in different levels depending on the mode on here. It has three different modes on this controller. Obviously, there's gonna be more modes than others, but we have three different modes. The first mode, which is one, this is going to give you about 43 miles on a full charge on here. Then you go to mode two, which is gonna be more speed on there. The, the mode one, I believe, only does like 18 or 19 miles an hour. Mode two goes a little bit more and that's gonna give you, they say about 37 miles, but I don't think that. And then mode three, which gives you about 37 miles an hour, which I've only got to about 33 or 34 miles an hour, uh, gets you about 18 miles. And it's not a lot, but this thing has a crazy amount of torque, 200 uh, newton meters of torque on here as well. So you could definitely wheelie this thing, uh, no problem on there. It comes with four piston hydraulic disc brakes with massive disc brakes on there. A, I believe a, 12 inch in the rear and a 14 inch in the front with insanely reinforced alloy rims and massive spokes in here again big chunky tires they are tube inside this tire but uh i wouldn't want to change one I, I have no idea how how hard that thing will be to change on there because it looks like a massive heavy duty change on there a good amount of travel we built up this whole thing because it came shipped in a box right to our doorstep on there as well and everything that i've seen on it has been really really nice quality uh really 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 cool uh, of an item it has a 60 tooth sprocket on there and the chain we had to go ahead and tighten up and tension ourselves you have these chain tensions on there as well and uh 60 tooth again it kind of gives you a good realistic idea of how fast the thing could go again about 37 miles per hour that's going to vary uh per weight i'm about 200 pounds maybe like 210 right now because of the holidays i've been eating a little bit more uh, about 210 pounds so i like i said i can only get up to about 32 34 miles an hour you can fit a max weight on here of 265 pounds, but it's a perfect gift for a kid, an adult. I wouldn't really say it's commuting. It's definitely more of a fun type of bike. You could take this for, let's say you're dirt biking. It's a pit bike, uh, ride around town in the neighborhood with the, with the friends. Uh, maybe if you want to go ahead and go to a store that's local. Again, like I said, it's not the best commuter, but in terms of ripping and performing on this thing, it's an absolute blast. The way this thing goes ahead and removes it, you have this little dial back here. You loosen it up, this thing pops off like so. It hangs down, Come on. boom, hangs down, seat comes off, and then inside there is your battery, which you go ahead and remove that out of there, and then you charge it inside your house. So if you're worried about, let's say you have a condo or you live in an apartment, you can then park this thing wherever you want it to and then take the battery upstairs to go ahead and charge it. Charge time on these things, it seems to be a good amount of time. Uh, we here in the store have had it where it takes to be out, not two thirds of the day, but I wanna say a solid like five hours to get a full charge on this thing because it is such a big battery. Um, but yeah, and then now for a little bit of the cons I've noticed on this thing when we built it, 
And this is just us kind of getting some rounds on here because there's a lot of good to the bike, like I said, but there are some cons that we've noticed with this thing. Uh, one, it got a little bit noisier over time and we think that's because of the chain tension, but even with the chain tension all the way on there, we notice that the chain seems to be hitting right here. Uh, so we get a little bit of chain rub right on there and it causes a little bit of noise going back and forth. I've, already done, I've done this review already and I already had four people stop me while doing this video to talk about. It. Another kind of a zonk on here is the fender. You add this fender on here, it just looks kind of uh, goofy. It's a squared off fender, it's plastic, it looks kind of cheap. I wish they didn't put one on there at all. We put it on there just to show you guys what it looks like. But when you're going, it almost like slows you down. It, it really should be down more. Uh, it may be squared off, but it's nothing to really cry about. You can take it off if you wanted to. And then, and then the last thing that it's really nothing to do with this is probably me just coming from a bike background. This is strictly a throttle only. There is no pedals on here. This is literally a strictly an e-vehicle. Um, so you just have your foot pegs on here. Um, but other than that, everything has been pretty cool. Uh, the shock is ad adjustable, like I said, per weight, and it is nitrogen filled. They say it's pre-filled from factory, but they don't give you a tool to adjust it per your weight. So you have this little kind of, uh, looks to be like a little tighten down thing here. Um, that you can go ahead and adjust how much preload you want there. It works for me. I don't have a tool here, so I wish it would probably send you that tool inside of your uh, your packaging, but it is what it is. It's not a big deal. But anyways, let's go ahead and get some ride footage of this thing, show you guys what it can do. I'm gonna have my buddy follow me around on another e-bike, and you're gonna see how quick this thing takes off. Uh, it is a blast to ride, and uh, very, very excited for this. So let's go ahead and get on over there. Oh, also real quick, it comes with a two-year warranty as well for manufacturer purchase date, which is a pretty good warranty uh, for the product. I definitely think that it's uh, it's nice to have on these e-bikes, especially for a battery or a torque sensor on there. Um, and also, they are heavy. It is a heavy, heavy e-bike that, um, you know, keep in mind if you're trying to lug this around, definitely get some ramps for your pickup truck or just keep in mind it's kind of hard to go ahead and lift up because it's awkward to carry on there. But other than that, assembly was really, really easy. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys on a little test ride. I'm gonna show you guys the top speeds of different modes here. I have my safety helmet on. Right now we're in zone one. Again, I'm about 210 pounds, we'll call it. And we're gonna hit a full throttle to show you guys how fast it goes. Let's do it. All right, so as you guys can see, it's not that fast. I'm maxed out right now about 14, 15 miles an hour. It's only, it's, it's governing back and forth, 14, 15 miles an hour. We'll pull over right here for this car pass. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna do zone two. I'm gonna hit it right now, right? Again. Faster, but not that crazy fast. Going about 21, 22, 21, 20 miles an hour right there. Um, which is again, nothing crazy, but they say at this mode you can do about 37 miles on there. I don't want to sit there and say that's correct because zone one is 43, but I would say a little bit less than that, maybe 30. But now we're gonna get into why you buy this thing, the zone three, because of the fact that that's the fun part of this thing. And you can hear, we're using this thing a lot and it's getting a little bit louder. But, I don't know, we'll see now. Let's go ahead and hit this in the zone three, ready? All right, here we go. Oh, I gotta wait for the cameraman. That was only about 26, 27 miles an hour. But it's really fun. Takes off really quick. We're gonna go down the, the street again and then we'll hit a top speed to show you guys what I can do. Right now I'm about 30 miles an hour. All right, you can stop the video. 
All right, so we're gonna take it around this roundabout. We're gonna go straight. I'm gonna try to get to 32. Right now I'm at three bars, so definitely the zone three takes some of the speed out of it or takes the distance out of it for sure. Um, but we'll do our best to go ahead and hit that max speed. And obviously you're not gonna get your max speed when you go down in bars as well. So if you're trying to hit 37 miles an hour, be lighter and also be fresher charged. But we're gonna go ahead and take off right now. Ready? Ah! Exhilarating. So that was 33 miles an hour. I zoom in on me. That was 33 miles an hour. And the guy, my, my friend who's filming me on the uh, competition e-bike, I'm not gonna say her name, but I was taking off on it. And it's a pretty reputable company for triple the price. So this is a really, really cool rig. Um, that's a badass thing, but you can go ahead and add them right there. So this is the company right there, or that's, uh, that one, yeah. yeah, yeah, there you go, boom. That one is, uh, we sell those as well, but those ones are uh, way less on the torque sensor and also the top end speed isn't as, as high as that one. So this thing is a badass bike. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Like I said, I get a lot of people hit me up on this stuff, but this was one that I definitely thought for the money, in terms of what we deal with all the time, I review 2,000, 10,000, 14,000 dollar carbon fiber road bikes with not nearly as much heavy metal machinery battery technology on there so for this thing for $1,189 at the price point of Black Friday uh, is a really cool deal and I'm sure you see more and more kids riding these e-bikes now you see more and more people riding these these electric dirt bikes and stuff like that so I think if you're in the market for this if you're in the market for any kind of like electric e-bike or dirt bike on there this should be at least a top of your list for sure to go ahead and check out so anyways guys that's going to do it for this video Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you to Tutio. I'll put a link down below where you guys can check it out to buy. And I'll see you guys in the next video.